and probably the most shocking score of the night, White County rallied to beat number one North Hall 4 1 at Cottrell Field on Monday. And perhaps even more impressive, the Warriors held the Trojans scoreless after the first inning. The win leaves the Warriors all alone in the Region 7 3A standings, one game ahead of the Trojans. White County down one heading to the fourth inning. Got two doubles, one from Jabin Haynes and the other from Bailey Patterson in the four run fourth. They also scored one run off an error. Patterson was pretty good on the hill, going five innings, allowing one run on four hits and one K. Dylan Sargent held off the Trojans for two innings, allowing just two hits and a strikeout. Grayson Kirby scored the Trojans' only run on a wild pitch in the opening inning. Over in Sardis, Maddox Miller's one-out single was enough to walk off with a win as Chester T rallied to beat East Hall 5-4 at Lynn Cottrell Complex on Monday. War Eagles trailed 4-3 going into the seventh inning and got a little help from the Vikings pitching staff who loaded the bases off a single and two walks. Nick McCoy drove in the War Eagles' tying run on a fielder's choice, scoring Hunter Potsner. And over at Ivy Watson, Gainesville's offense struggled against South Forsyth in a 9-1 loss to the War Eagles. South slowly built its lead, pulling ahead 3-0 on a Ryan Becker RBI single in the third. The War Eagles added two runs in the fifth and four in the seventh. The Red Elephants' only run came off an error in the sixth inning, scoring Will Barrett. To catch up on score stories, photos, highlights, and more from around the area, head over to accesswdwin.com and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Keyword search, Access WDWN Sports.